Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes as a comment to a post on YouTube, and it's in reference to a video uh, on the ham radio 40 meter dipole, uh, your first dipole. And I just happened to have that antenna here and brought it in with me so we can try and answer the question. The question is from Gordon Pike, and he is KO4OCO. And he says, the building of the antenna is fine, but as with nearly all the videos I have watched, the final connection from the coupler wires to the actual dipole antenna wires is never covered. We see the coupler in the insulators, maybe even the tethering ropes, but not how to make that final connection from the center point coupler to the uh, dipole antenna coax. Do you know where I can find information as to how to make these connections? Well, there are three ways. Um, let me pull this out from the last video that I did. I want to show you something. This is a piece of coax, and it is possible to make kind of a little... Let's get this out here. It is possible to push these wires back, and they've gotten a little bit torn here. But fix it so that you have this wire over this way, and the other wire this way. Okay. So let's um, draw the two wires. Here's a wire going this way. Here's a wire going this way. And you strip this, okay, and then you solder this to this, and you solder this to this. That is probably the most common way to connect a diode antenna to uh, coax. Okay, just solder it. Uh, that does make it rather permanent, though. And there's nothing wrong with that if you're going to leave it up for a while. And if you don't like the antenna, that's fine if you're going to leave it up for a while. And if you don't like the antenna, you can always just cut the coax right there and you lose a couple inches of coax. And that's no problem. Now let's suppose you're going to make an antenna and you think you might uh, change it a lot or take it down and put something up and so on. That's what happened when I did the um, 40 meter dipole that is in the video that he commented about. This is the center of that dipole. Let's take a little closer look at it here. Okay, here goes out one side of the dipole, here goes out the other. Um, the wire is simply, this is insulated, THHN wire, um, through the insulator like that, and then two pieces come out like that, you see? And then you take an SO239 connector which you can see right there, and you solder the center to the center, and then one of the sides to one of the sides. Now obviously this is unbalanced, and the antenna itself is balanced. So you've got unbalanced to balanced right there. And that can, under some circumstances, cause problems. I've never really had trouble with that. <clears throat> some people have. So this connector right here is it'd probably be gotten from less than five dollars. You might even get two or three for five dollars. There are many, many different quality connectors. I'd stick to Amphenol or. Uh, Belden or somebody like that. Um, one of the problems is that this white material right here is a plastic 
and if you put too much heat down here it will actually melt that plastic and we don't want that to happen that's a poor quality connector when that happens so I've got center terminal to one side of the dipole and I've got the outside uh, the sleeve if you will uh, connected to this other side over here okay now if you want you can put this up if I can get it to stand in the right direction okay and then come down from here with your coax and coil about nine uh, loops and it'll actually be a loop like that use some uh, small um, tie tie straps to uh, tie that down and then this acts as a ballon for the thing and then you're in good shape or you can put a real ballon a store-bought ballon if you want a lot of the store-bought ballons uh, look like this they've got a loop on the top a loop on this side a loop on this side and an SO239 down here on the bottom okay and this is for hanging like hanging in a tree this goes to one element of the dipole this goes to the other element of the dipole and this is where your coax connects down here and this is a full blown ballon okay now these are big they're big connectors so you need if you've ever done any plumbing type electrical work you need a um, torch like that do not use industrial grade plumbing grade um, acid flux solder use rosin core solder otherwise you're going to get a connection that's going to go bad um, and pretty quickly too so get that thing hot just enough that if you as as soon as you tap it with some solder some solder flows and keep it still after that and you're done you don't need much okay you do that on either side and then you've got the ballon this kind right here that i have with the so239 is probably the most common that you will see the other common one that you will see is just directly soldering the uh, coax to the the antenna and they both work and I know I'll, I'll put the caveat in here that they should have a, a, a ballon uh, but frankly I've not had good luck with ballons and dipoles so I I realize that best practice is to have a ballon in there that's one case where I sort of carelessly disregard best practices okay I hope that answers the question there you have multiple ways that you can connect to that antenna uh, you've seen the way that I like and I've shown you a couple others uh, you can get connectors from MFJ and so through DX engineering that will just have the two outer connectors and a connector that you put your screw on it's sort of uh, the middle part of that and you solder to the outsides of that it saves you a little bit of trouble so there you have it <clears throat> um, please help feed the algorithm on youtube by subscribing and clicking like and leaving a comment and if you would like to help this channel financially you certainly can by going to decastlercom slash reference that's how i pay my assistant and other things like that so thank you very much for uh, being with me today and until we next meet 73